Hello friends. Norberta is my wood-burning kiln. Construction required many experiments. First building it, then taking it apart, and trying it again until this improved final version. Originally she was small, L-shaped, and inefficient. In my efforts to correct that inefficiency, I kept some late nights test firing pots. A couple of assemblies later, I succeeded in building a version of Norberta that worked very well. However, although I successfully fired some pieces with low temperature glazes, she was still a little small. And because the furnace was at ground level, my back was strained by the end of the day. I increased the size and built a raised base. Here is a video of the operation of this, the latest beta version of Norberta. So Norberta has grown up. With a few final tweaks, it's time to share the project with you so you can build your own wood-burning kiln. The first thing to do is choose a location that is not too close to your doors or windows because obviously there will be some smoke. The kiln should be built on a 5 foot by 10 foot concrete pad. Let's build a good platform to get Nuberta up off the ground. Your back will thank you when you go to add fuel. The design illustrated here is good because in addition to using the fewest possible bricks, it avoids heat being lost into the ground. We will install a step here to separate the firebox from the wear chamber, and then we'll cover everything up with common clay bricks. Lay the bricks with a very thin layer of refractory cement, which can be homemade using earth, sugar, and cement. If you search YouTube for refractory cement recipes, you will find many. Let's start lining the firebox with refractory bricks. And we'll speed up the video at this point. If you have any questions, just pause or rewind the video as needed. Watch it through a few times before starting to build, because there are some small details you could easily miss the first time through, the importance of which will become obvious later on. You may need to make some wooden braces to support the archway and the ceilings of the firebox and the wear chamber while you are cementing those bricks in place. You can remove those braces when the cement is dried, or you can wait and let them burn out when the test firing of the kiln is done later. Fill the furnace roof with a slightly thicker layer of refractory cement. Once it is dry, that cement will lock those bricks in place for you. Come closer. I want you to see. Ah! Now, oh yeah, that's going to leave a mark. Now, where was I? Here is the chimney's throat.
Fill the ceiling of the wear chamber with refractory cement and Norberta is ready. Don't forget that it is necessary to cover the kiln with a roof big enough to keep the kiln, your firewood, and yourself dry when it rains. Allow the cement in your kiln to dry completely for at least 15 days before lighting it up for the test fire. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. How else can I let you know about my upcoming videos? So, good luck. Watch out for falling bricks, and may you be as happy with your new wood-burning kiln as I am with mine Alberta.